their names on them. Simply allow them to play with your eardrum. Don't judge the sounds. There are no, as it were, proper sounds or improper sounds. It's all just sound. Simply listen to them as part of the general noise going on. And soon you will find that the so-called outside world and the so-called inside world come together, come together, come together.
to live before us teach us how to dream the way society dreams. The outside dream has so many rules that when a new human is born, we hope the child's attention and introduce these rules into his or her mind. The outside dream uses law and death, the schools and religion to teach us how to dream. Attention is the ability we have to discriminate and to focus only on that which we want to perceive. We can perceive millions of things simultaneously, but using our attention, we can hold on to we want to perceive in the foreground of our mind. The adults around us hooked our attention and put information into our minds in repetition. That is the way we learn everything we know. By using our attention, we learn a whole reality, a whole dream. We learn how to behave in society, what to believe, what not to believe, what is acceptable and what is not acceptable, what is good and what is bad, what is beautiful and what is ugly, what is right and what is wrong. Those are all way of the way. All that knowledge, all those rules and concepts about how to behave in the world. chair and put your attention on what the teacher is teaching you. Or in the church, you put your attention on what the priest or minister is telling you. It is the same dynamic with mom and dad, brothers and sisters, they were all trying to work your attention. We also learned to hook the attention of other humans, and we develop a need for attention which can become very competitive. Children compete for the attention of their parents, their teachers, their friends. Look at me, attention becomes very strong and continues into adulthood. He just stood up. The outside dream is our attention. He teaches us what to believe. He just stood up. Beginning with the language that we speak. Language is the code for understanding and communication between humans. Every letter, every word in each language is an agreement. Once we understand the code, our attention is full and the energy is transferred to another. It was not your choice to speak English. You didn't choose your religion or your moral values. They were already there before you were born. We never had the opportunity to choose what to believe or what not to believe. We never chose even the smallest of these agreements. We didn't even choose our own name. As children, we didn't have the opportunity to choose our beliefs. But we agreed with the information that was passed to us from the dream of the planet to get other humans. The only way to store information is by agreement. The outside dream may work our attention, but if we don't agree, we don't store that information. As soon as we agree,